Hey fellas, if you have prostate issues, if you've had prostate cancer, prostate surgery, and you wanna recover faster from that, and for the guys who just wanna avoid that altogether, today we're gonna to talk about the foods that you can use to help you get recovered faster if you have the issues and the foods you can use to avoid it all together. And hey, this is Brian, AKA Uncle B, and for the last 23 years I've been a men's performance coach with African Fly, now known as Goodwood. And today we're talking about this issue because it's so prevalent in our society and we need to make sure guys don't come around this at all. And so today specifically, I'm gonna list out the foods that you need to have in your life so that you can avoid these problems. And if you already have these issues, this will help you recover faster, even if you've had the surgery or the medications. It's all about what you're putting in your body. And of course, if you like what you hear, go hit that like button, that subscribe button, that notification bell so we can get some more of this information to you. And what I'm going to do, like we do all the time around here, break this down till it cannot be broken anymore. All right, so let's hop into it. Your diet obviously can affect your entire health system, especially when it comes to your prostate. By adding healthy prostate friendly foods into your diet, you may be able to reduce the risk of these problems and avoid prostate cancer. Prostate cancer is the most common cancer among men in the United States. We're talking about affecting one out of eight guys and it is the fifth leading cause of death for men. Last video, we talked about prostate issues, prostate cancer, BPH, and its effect on erectile dysfunction and the things you can do about it. So make sure you check that video out. And so this follows on because we have to add the foods that you need to eat in order to avoid all of that. And that's because the high fat, high everything, salt, everything, high sugar, Western diet is messing with us in a huge way. And of course you do wanna see your healthcare provider to make sure you're getting those screenings for prostate issues. Don't just think you're good, make sure you're good. So let's get into it, because first on that list, tomatoes. And that's because tomatoes contain a powerful antioxidant called lycopene. Research from NIA suggests that getting lycopene into your diet is going to reduce the possibility of you getting prostate cancer. Now here's the catch. Because lycopene is tightly bound to the walls on the, the outside skin of the tomatoes, it's actually a little bit easier if you have the tomatoes cooked or pureed. There you go. Now let's get into broccoli because that vegetable contains many complex compounds that may help protect some people from cancer. They actually help inactivate carcinogenics. They also have an antiviral and an antibacterial effect. And a great one, especially when it comes to erectile dysfunction, it is anti-inflammatory. And of course we gotta talk about green tea because that's been used for centuries and it has a lot of beneficial effects. Evidence shows that special compounds in green tea may reduce the risk of prostate cancer by influencing tumor growth and cell death. Now, when it comes to the green tea, you can play around with it. You can have it, you know, the regular hot tea first thing in the morning. If you want to turn it into an iced tea, that's all good. Even if you want to put it into your smoothie, you can do that too. Just don't go too far with all the sweet fruits in your smoothie. And let's talk about legumes, which is a food group that contains beans, peanuts, and lentils. And that's because they have a compound in them called phytoestrogens that can help with this issue. A study showed people who ate the most phytoestrogens had a 20% reduced risk of prostate cancer. That's a big one. I would highly suggest, yes, get that into your diet. And like green tea, pomegranates are also a great source of antioxidants. The National Cancer Institute says that pomegranate juice and some of its bioactive components may inhibit the growth of prostate cancer cells. And then we have bell peppers, which has a high amount of vitamin C. And we're actually talking about more than oranges. And this can help when it comes to the swelling and the enlargement of the prostate. So get that, bell peppers, into your life. Ah, when it comes to the garlic, let's talk about that. Diets high in garlic can reduce the risk of BPH and relieve urinary tract infections commonly associated with an enlarged prostate. One study from 2008 compared the diets of 2,820 men and found that those who regularly ate garlic had a 28% lower risk of BPH compared to men who didn't eat the garlic. Yeah, this in you helps. 
And let's talk about those pumpkin seeds. You know how your uncle just be like this with the pumpkin seeds? I'm like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Yeah, your uncle was on to something right there. Because pumpkin seeds are known to help the immune system and also help with prostate issues. Patients with chronic prostatitis tend to have low levels of zinc within the prostate or seminal fluid. And zinc has been shown to slow down aggressive prostate cancer. Now. There's pumpkin seeds and then there's supplements. If you're doing the supplements, make sure you're not overdoing it. That's gonna cause some other issues. Now let's talk about some foods you need to uh, cut out. First of all on that list, dairy. Dairy produce raises levels of protein called insulin-like growth factor, IGF-1, to high levels which are linked to increased cancer risk. No less than two studies from Harvard literally showed that men who drank more dairy had 30 to 60% more chance of having prostate issues. Ooh, that's a lot. And of course, red meat and processed meat. And by the way, all meat is processed. That's the only way it's given from being living and inedible to on your plate. So you do want to limit your amount of protein coming from animals. And we are talking about the whole list, beef, pork, lamb, ham, bacon, sausage, because high quantities of this can lead to aggressive prostate cancer. Now, of course, the older you are and the more you've been eating this throughout your lifetime, the past 30, 40 years, uh, the more you need to cut back. Yes, if you need to get radical with it, get radical with it. Or you can end up with prostate issues and not have erections for a long time. It's your choice. And of course, as we all know, that saturated fat, you gotta cut it out. One study found that men who consumed over 40% of their calories from fat had a 30% increased risk of BPH compared to men who ate low fat diets. See how that works? So once again, guys, prostate issues. You don't want to have that in your life. It is going to lead to some ED issues down the road, whether it's surgery or medication, it's still an issue. Now you do want to check in with your healthcare provider before you make any of these changes, especially if you're already on medication or you've had uh, the surgery. And that is because the food could interact with the drugs that you're taking. So question of the day, uh, what foods do you eat? What foods are you eating that'll help out with prostate? Are they on this list? If you have some other ones that I haven't mentioned here, let us know in the comment section below. And of course, if you like what you heard, go ahead and hit that like button, that subscribe button, that notification bell so we can get some more of this information to you. And this is Uncle B saying, get your game up and go hard. Peace out.